Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's been a while guys, and yeah, it's been a while. How are you all doing there? How are you all? How are you all? Alright, so um, we're about to be coding, so let's check it out. Uh, let's go to the path menu. So this is the web development career path, and we're currently on HTML forms, and the part we're on is number input. This section, number input. All right, cool. Let's get started. HTML forms, number input. We've got now, we've now gone over the, we now gone over two type attributes for input related to text, but we might, want our users to type in a number hyphen in which case we can set the type attribute to you guessed it uh quotes number quotes exclamation mark by setting type equals quotes number so when it's in quotes it's text for an input we can restrict what users type into the input field to just numbers and a few special characters like minus and plus and period. We can also provide a step attribute which creates arrows inside the input field to increase or decrease by the value of the step attribute. Below is the code needed to render an input field for numbers. So let's go ahead and read this code block right over here. This code form label for equals quotes years quote uh, greater than or less than saying I always get those mixed up, but years of experience colon label closing it uh, the forward slash. And then you got input ID equals quotes years name equals years you got quotes in between them you got quotes on left and right type equals quotes number quote step equals quote one equal and then ending with that sign um for a forward slash form so this which renders years of experience and this has a um little box here now it's time to apply the knowledge in the index HTML, we started a form for users to make a custom burger. Right now, we have a label for patties that needs an associated input element. Since we want users to enter a number, create an input and set the attributes. Associate the input to the first label by assigning the correct value to ID. Type equals quotes number quotes. Step equals quotes one quotes. Name to amount. A uh, name to quotes amount quote. All right, let's do that. Okay, so first of all, we got to make an input. Input ID equals, and I'm going to get my quotes and then amount. And I'm going to test this out and see what it does. Okay. Did you set the input type and uh, attribute number? Okay, we gotta do that next. So it's good to always check things, check it along. So you could go, you go by step by step because if you do it in chunks, it's kind of hard to, um, it'll take a while and it's kind of hard to figure out what is the pinpoint, what is it exactly you're looking for. Okay, so we got that. So did you set the input type steps? See, it's good to go on um, step by step by step, you know? So you could keep track of your progress. Keep track of everything. So name, and then we got amount, and then run it. Did you input, set the input and step attribute to one? Okay, now we gotta do that. So let's go ahead and 
make this here name. Let's go. So name equals quotes amount quotes. Um. So let's go ahead and go to step. Let's make that a new line. Step equals uh, one. Then close it. And let's run it. Bingo. Got it. So here we go. We got this thing. So let's um, comment it out and see what happens. See, this is before. And then this is after. How many badges would you like? Once again, see there's one, two, three. Once again, let's um, quote it out. Right, how many badges would you like? There's nothing there. Then undo the codes here. Great. We learned how to do a box and the arrows and stuff like that and able to make about, uh, numbers. So, all right. Um, we learned about number input. Um, thank you guys for watching and make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time. And stay safe out there. Take care. Bye.